think there's maybe a number of reasons as to why one may feel hesitant in, uh, in starting this journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I think one of the reasons is that one feels um, not worthy of mm. taking that journey. Subhanallah. Right? We need to understand my brothers and my sisters, right? That some of the companions, they were the worst people. They were murderers. I don't think you've ever murdered anyone, right? Some of the female companions, before Al Islam, they used to do tawaf around the Kaaba naked. They would bury their children, subhanAllah. So this is what they've done. They were idol worshippers, the worst of the sins that we become absolutely astonished with. Akhir, they did it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was ready to accept their repentance, right? You may take a thousand steps away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just one step back to Allah Azza wa Jalla is ready to accept your repentance, yeah. right? And forgive you for everything that you've done. So thinking that you're not worthy, it's actually a trap from the shaitan when you think about it. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you uh, have been clubbing, right? I'll even go as far as saying prostitution. So from the worst of sins, right? Oh, when somebody hears about someone so is doing this, oh, Habibi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave a prostitute. Didn't he? Mm. Right? He forgave that prostitute who uh, just quenched the thirst of a dog. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, she took her shoes off, she filled it with water, and then she quenched the thirst of this dog. Subhanallah. Allah has to forgive her. So the door of repentance is open. Allah has to Allah has to says, O oh Muhammad, say to them, My servants who have transgressed against themselves, do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. So it doesn't matter what you've done. You've taken a thousand steps away from Allah. It just requires you to take that one step back to Allah. And he's ready to, you know, with his vast mercy to forgive you and protect you from what you may have been going through. It's upon you to take that step. This is something that is universal. Everybody making mistakes, everyone falling into sins. Not just someone who makes a mistake or two, but someone who constantly makes mistakes all the time. However, that which makes you stand out from all of these sinners is repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and returning back to Him. No. Right? No. So I think that's very, very important.